another one. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a Monday morning, a sunny Monday morning. I'm really excited about the week. I'm in London four out of the five days. Three of them are for meetings, so I'm gonna try and stick around and see if I can see some supercars in the evening. There seems to be a few cars coming back, but as you may have seen from my Instagram and my videos, I wasn't in London and actually was so busy video editing, I had to do the BMW i8, and I'm so prepared that I ended up editing the video that you saw yesterday on the Swagway board, the challenge that I did. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Obviously, it's nine o'clock in the morning now. It hasn't gone live yet, and it won't go live for ages, so I'm gonna hope that you enjoyed that video, and fingers crossed I can get my hands on one for more of a long-term basis and do more stuff, try and get as many tricks as I can. I don't know, I don't know, I just like practicing things that are cool to, th cool to do and a lot of fun, which is um, definitely one of those swig boards. I'm spying on the F40. Lunch is complete. <coughs> and I still feel like I've got something stuck in my throat, but I have found <laughs> This, which is a very, very good time consumer. This is a Lamborghini configurator. We've got a Ventador Roaster up here. We've got a Ventador Coupe, which is obviously what I'd have. You've also got the Hurricane here on the Aventador, just to, just, to, just to play around with the afternoon before I head into London. So we've got a basic stock Aventador. You've got paint, wheels and suspension, aerodynamics, wrap and decals, and presets. So. Let's start with, uh, well look at all of these colors. What shall we start with? A baby blue, blue Nova. That's not far off what I had on the R8, I think. Looks almost satin. Let's go with that, let's go with that. Main shade, what about orange? What does that look like? Move on to wheels and suspension. This is where the car is gonna pop. Let's go orange brake calipers to match the interior. And then we've got all of the different wheel choices down here. Let's go with the SV wheels with the orange center cap. Oh my God. And then we move on to aerodynamics. This is where the body kit comes into play. And as you can see, we've got the standard Aventador J Venino look, the 50th anniversary, the Super Veloce SV, and we've also got DMC packs here. So, can you believe it? The Wi-Fi's gone halfway through our configurator. Come on. Ah, oh, 50th anniversary, I clicked on the wrong one. Let's go on SV. Ooh. It does look mean. What about DMC? Just something subtle. I mean, that looks cool. That looks cool. Let's let's go with that. And then at the back, let's just let's just keep with the SV uh, with the DMC. Sorry. Um, yeah, DMC spoiler. Oh my god. And then we will go with the Super Veloce. Side panels here. Wraps and decals. Ooh. This is where why would you why would you do a full body wrap over the paint? What about front? Oh, we can have orange on the front. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna carry that through. Guys, I think I'm gonna be creating the coolest ever DMC evented off anyone. If you see anyone with this spec, then please tell them. Oh, do we like that? Or should I take it off? I might take that one off. How do you get that rid of that one? Because we've got to have some sort of carbon, carbon wing mirrors. Yeah, that's got to be done. I just realized we're very much in the golf livery, which is why it probably looks so good. And no, we're not going to get SV down the side. I might make a hurricane quickly, but I'm quite pleased with that. I think that looks quite cool. What do you think?
I just created the Hurricane, a purple Hurricane, yellow brake calipers, what looks to be like HRE wheels. And uh, we've got the Italian stripe. This has got the full DMC pack as well on the rear. We've got, yeah, the DMC pack there. Looks awesome. Looks really, really cool. Do you know what I'm gonna do with my first weeks? Quick overall impression of this car. This car was given to me by Driven Leasing, which is a leasing company that deal with very, very good and bespoke deals when it comes to leasing cars, brand new cars. And I think they also do nearly new cars as well. So the reason that I've got this car is one, because I have not got a vehicle at the moment and this is very important for me to get around in. And um, the BMW X5, my initial impressions right after jumping out the BMW IA was this literally saps all of the fun out of driving. There's no sporty mode, that, well there is, it's called, there, there is a sport mode but it does nothing. Um, you're, it's, it's such a big car, I was like, do you really, no one actually needs a vehicle this big. But, and my, my other impression was this is gonna be a real sort of gas guzzler as they're known to be the big Chelsea 4x4s. However, the X5 has completely sort of changed my perception on these cars. I still don't understand why some people need something this big, but maybe that's because I'm 24 and don't need something this big. But it's a really, really nice and relaxing cruiser. You don't feel like you're gonna push it to the speed limits. You don't feel you need to push this car. It's a real smooth drive. There's quite a lot of technology on here, like lane assist and making sure that you're in the right lane. Um, and the cruise control is obviously handy as well. But the main thing is how good this car is on fuel. Yes, it's a diesel, but still, I haven't filled up yet. And I've just gone over half a tank. So in the whole week, I haven't filled up at all. I've only used half a tank. So this, I'm not sure how much it would cost to fill up completely, but it's very, very impressive on fuel. We've made it onto Sloan Street and this is greeting us. I didn't even know this was back. Epic. We've just seen a DMC Aventador as well. I'm here with Dimmy. Dimmy164, say hello. Hello. <laughs> He's ill. We're gonna get some food, but I need to drop back the swag board thing that's in the back of my car. It keeps rattling around, so let's get rid of that and then go and try and find some cars. Another one. Second white 458 Spider. This is insane. I haven't seen this car yet. It's loud. We've finally made it out of car with Dimmy and Stefan, who uh, you've been in the vlog before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and apparently Harrods is pretty crazy. We've got some sources and witnesses at Harrods telling that there's supercars, hypercars, and Mercedes 6x6 G-Wagons. So let's just um, go for a wander and try and, find, try and find all these cars that people are talking about. So not one, but two 6x6 G wagons are parked on the corner with the Pagani Wira. And then, check this out for some colour. I'll leave it at that.
matching car. <laughs> matching. That is bang on. Three hours down, we've given up, we're going to eat, we haven't eaten yet, so we're going to go to La Ferrari and we're leaving it, hopefully we get to see it in Mayfair or even still going to be parked there after we eat. The Veyron has um, decided to park there, that's a good spot to park, excellent. 6x6 six six is about to move, and oh, there's an AMG GT. Double Aventador combo. That is crazy. Oh my god, there's so many cars here. This is insane. Oh look, Chrome SLR. We've got another Aventador up here, the 458 Spider, the Haman Mister. Well, these are where all the cars are. Six by six. Left. There might be a LaFerrari. It normally it's here at this time. If it's driving, is it here? Oh, I can't see it yet. Is it here? I can see something low, but you can't because the camera doesn't go in that far. It is here. Oh, there's a Maserati. Oh, and someone's found it. The photographer with a tripod has found the LaFerrari. How cool is that? I tell you what, London tonight has really, really performed. A LaFerrari, a Veyron, a Pagani Wire, a 26x6, and that little stint that we had to walk in between Knightsbridge and South Kensington just off Brompton Road was insane. The amount of cars that were there was pretty ridiculous. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to end and try and end as quickly as I can because you know what I normally do? I normally ramble on. So I'm going to sign off really quickly. Thank you for watching. As always, if you're new, please subscribe to Supercars London if you've enjoyed this. Daily vlogs every single every single at five every single day at 5 p.m. Yeah, that's right. Every single day at 5 p.m. I do my best to try and make these vlogs as exciting as possible, but some days are more exciting than others. And today I feel was a good one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah!